In this video I will show you how to use the animated ephemera Photoshop action. Uh, a few examples, if you don't see the static image, the animation version, the same static version, animation, It's pretty cool effect. All this image you can see on my preview page on Graphic River. Okay, we work with uh, this image, for example. Okay, let's uh, install our action and uh, our ephemeral brushes. Let's do it. Go to this panel if you don't see it. This panel, go to window and click on actions. Uh, click on this icon and load action. Okay, let's install them. Uh, go next, we need to install our ephemeral brushes. Go to brush presets. Okay, again, if you don't see this window, go to window and click brush presets. load brushes, click ephemeral brushes and click open. Okay, all base tools are ready. Uh, next we need to be sure that our image uh, have our base preference. Uh, check, check out that our image have RGB color mode and 8 bits per channel also. Uh, make sure that your image have resolution 72 pixels and uh, have more than 2000 pixels on each size it's uh, better resolution and my recommendation okay and uh, finally uh, make sure that your main image set as a background with lock for example, if you open your image like this, uh, your image have name layer 0, click on this layer, go to image, sorry, layer, new, a background from layer. And Photoshop transformed from your layer 0 to background with lock. Okay, let's... Uh, create our effect, ephemera effect. First, we need to create new layer. Give the name mask. Select red color and let's draw, sorry. Of course, you need to make this more carefully and accurate. Because if you make more accurate and carefully mask, your final results will be more cooler and better. I'm making this mask more quickly, save your time. Okay. Uh, The, over the layer mask okay also uh, you can create mask another way uh, 
just select uh, brush make sure that you have opacity 100% choose any color and carefully draw over your object anyway uh, your choice after that create new layer again and create and give the name brush select soft brush uh, maybe uh, from 40 to 60 or 70 pixels it's enough and create uh, select another color and try to paint where you want to put your effect okay it's for example a little bit tip for you uh, this animated ephemeral photoshop action you can use unlimited times but uh, I You see a little bit tips what you make your life more easy. Okay, go to history panel and click on this icon. This icon saves this set of your layers. It's our beginning point. Begin point. Okay. Uh, when your base layer is ready, uh, click on Animated Ephemera and play action. Okay, uh, for example, I don't need these results and I want to make this uh, effect again but with a different uh, effect, with different uh, place in this, uh, like in drop, in water effect. Okay, go to our save history, click it's reset to our beginning point and go again and uh, play our action again Okay, uh, for example, I want to work with this result. First, very cool uh, feature it's uh, you can select ink uh, 3, ink uh, 2, ink 1, and place in area where you want. The animation uh, will be saved inside our smart object and uh, you want to play a different place and your animation will be saved don't worry about it okay you can scale down or scale up Okay, uh, let's try uh, to work with this. Okay, uh, if you want to add some original parts of your image, go to add original image, click on mask, uh, select any brush, 
uh, select white color and add some original parts of your image okay uh, basically uh, you have background color it's background gradient and if you want monotone okay or if you want to make gradient your choice and pretty simple it easy to use add color it's for uh, a fixed style it's color gradient uh, add color Uh, for example, I want to some glow different layer, maybe a little pink, maybe select soft brush and try just draw over the slab. You don't need may uh, you don't need change this layer. Just draw, and you see, you see, uh, you can add cool. Color over your overall image. Okay, overall tone. It's just photo filter uh, and overall contrast. If you want make more contrast your image, just play with opacity. Okay. That's all. Uh, after that, you, you can save that um, this uh, as static, or you can export uh, as say for web as GIF animation. Let's do it. Photoshop calculate each frame, don't worry. We need to wait a little bit of time. When you export SG format, be sure that uh, you set a looping option as forever don't run. You need to understand if you want to put a GIF on web, uh, you need to have the animation with infinity uh, animation with forever looping. Photoshop working uh, lower because I record video. Okay, is this our image? This animation. Okay, let's check. Uh, first, we need to increase. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, make less our resolution. For example, I want to make this one. Okay. Let's wait while Photoshop change our resolution. And after, uh, we just need to change our looping option from once to forever. With any image you can uh, reach a awesome results 
uh, don't afraid to make some more uh, variants and uh, choose best variants of your image. Also, uh, you can add any additional image typo in this layer. I will show you a little bit later after we finish with this. Okay, and let's set our open option, click save. Save, let's see what we have finally. Yes, it's pretty cool, simple, modern animation. Save your time. Okay, uh, let's. I will show you how to create additional layer. Uh, first, we uh, need to be sure that your slider of the timeline set in the beginning of the hour timeline. Don't put this type this slider uh, in any area of your track only on the zero frames. Uh, after we need just create any layer and uh, no. Let's okay. Sorry. Put in the background. The same we can do with typo. Typo. can reach your some results, really. Okay, uh, for example, your slider is placed here and uh, see what uh, happened when we create another layer. The layer will be created in this point. And when you play action, you will see a very bad effect. Okay, let's delete this. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any question, write to me. Uh, throw a profile on Graphic River or uh, on my email mentioned uh, in readme file. Okay, thanks and bye.